Hello everyone, this is Teacher Gon. Let's talk about multiplying fractions, but this time, we will multiply three different fractions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is 1 over 4 times 2 over 3 times 3 over 5. To multiply these fractions, we will multiply the numerators and the denominators, but to make our life easier, in multiplying these fractions, we can use the cancellation method. Here, upon observing these fractions, we can cancel out this 3, it will become 1, and also this 3, it will become 1. Now, as for the other part of the fractions, for 2 and 4, we can cancel 2 because their greatest common factor between 2 and 4 is simply 2, so it will become 1. And this one will become 2. And in this case, we still have 1 times 1 times 1 in the numerator over 2 times 1 times 5. So we have 1 times 1 times 1 that is equal to 1 over 2 times 1 times 5 that is equal to 10. And as you can see, the product between these three fractions is simply 1 over 10. Now, you can pause the video for a while and let's try, and you can try this second example. Now, let's continue. We have 3 over 10 times 5 over 4 times 8 over 9. Let's try and observe some of the numbers here. So as you can see, from the start we have 3 and here we have 9. We can cancel this out, it will become 1. And as for the 9, it will become 3. Now, what are the other numbers? 4 and 8. The greatest common factor between 4 and 8 is 4. How many 4s do we have in 4? We have 1. And for the 8, we have 2 4s. And the other numbers are 10 and 5. Their greatest common factor is 5. So here we have 1 5, so it will become 1. And here we have 2 5s, so it will become 2. So what we have now is 1 times 1 times 2 over 2 times 1 times 3. And as you can see, guys, you can still simplify some of the numbers. This 2 will become 1. This 2 will become 1 also. And we can multiply them easily. 1 times 1 times 1. The product in the numerator is 1 over. 1 times 1 times 3. That is equal to 3. And as you can see, this is the final answer. Now guys, as part of our routine, I will give you another problem that is 2 over 5 times 10 over 14 times 1 over 3. Let me see in the comment section what is your answer for this problem. So guys, if you're into my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!